Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny. Got a quick tutorial and somebody asked a question on the last video or one of the videos. How can you add multiple designs and print them out? And couldn't text that answer back because it'll, it'll be like a long reply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this video and show y'all how you can load up multiple designs on any document size free software and quick shout out to all the subscribers and if you're new subscribe right now it's all about t-shirt stuff sublimation tutorials good information so let's get into it the link i'm going to give you it's going to take you straight here so you won't have to actually worry about trying to type in all this stuff but this is uh, the trusted site silhouetteamerica.com for silhouette studio and this is straight um to the download and i'll leave it down in the description below and also check it out in the comments i'll leave it i'll pin up the comment and you can actually just click on the link and it'll take you straight here so depending on the computer it's going to automatically pull up if you're using windows or if you're using a mac so it's going to pull up it don't have to worry about signing up just click download um the little window wizard will pop up and just go through all the prompts and you will have a little app icon see right here on the top left that s is going to be generated onto your computer so that way you'll be able to access that as soon as you open it up okay, so after the download I went ahead and launch it this is what it looks like this is it right here. Silhouette Studio. Things to know real quick. If you don't have a cameo, you know, this is for people that's new. There's a lot of stuff you probably won't even use on here. But if you click on file, you know, this is where open, you can open up your designs that way, or you can go to your files folder manager. Um, also, you can save or save as. Now, if you do save, it may ask you to register, which you gotta put in your email, create the password and all that good stuff and confirm your email. So if you already got it saved to your files photo manager, you don't have to worry about that. Print, you can also print from here. Do the page setup. Okay, page setup. So edit, this right here is grayed out because there's nothing on the canvas. This is where you can click your undo if you made a mistake, you resize it wrong, you turned it wrong. View, if you just want to zoom in, enable snap. Um, if you see enable smart snapping, it's already checked. I mean, it's, it's been like that for me. Show print border. That is showing this little gray line right here. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you don't have to worry about panels. You don't have to worry about objects or help. Now let's go to the right hand side, right here where my mouse is at. Top right, everything else below that, you can disregard. Click on the little page looking thing, page setup panel. Once you click on that um, machine, you just wanna go ahead and click it to none. Number two, the cutting mat, click it to none. And the medium size, media size, you wanna click it onto custom. Okay. Once you got on custom, this is where you can do your document size, which is this right here. This is your canvas, your document size. So if you got eight and a half by 11, all you have to do is type that in. Oops. 8.5 by 11. Click enter. As soon as you type it in and move to the next, to the height, it's going to automatically adjust. Um, you can do whatever document size you you want or you prefer Okay Now constrain to media To cut it mat. if it's check go ahead and check that is right above the orientation I would leave it as is. I mean, this is all about Putting as many designs as you can to utilize the printing for your design sublimation or any other project um, at the very bottom, where it says print border, 
If you uncheck that, it's that little gray outline around the canvas will disappear. I will leave it just to give you a general idea when you put your designs on. Now you can go to file and open up your designs that way and find them that way. But I'm, I'm going to minimize and drag and drop my files, my designs on here. So the first design is this. All you gotta do is left click on your design, drag it over the canvas, and you drag the other one over. Okay. And let's say we gotta we gotta do another one. So let's say now you just open it back up. And let's say all these are different designs. We got two two mug templates. All right. Now, once you click on one of them and hold down the left click, you can move them around. And then right here, it's gonna have your measurements in inches. So you got the width and height. Right about here, the WH. That's what the current document you is selected is, right? So to change that, we know that's a mug template. It's nine by 3.5, so that's gonna be nine. Hit tab, 3.5, hit enter, and then it's gonna adjust that for you right there. And you can, right next to it is a lock, you can lock it in, okay? Let's move these out the way. Now, let's say I want two of those designs, right? This design that we just locked. What you can do is right click on it, copy, right click anywhere and paste. And then you got design, you got two of your mug templates, exact same measurements, you see? Now, we know this one is a small logo. You can also, you really don't care about this one right here, right? You just know it's small. I just need something small for like a sticker. So these little corners, once you see the, like the little double arrow, it's real hard to see. You can size it that way. So I'm just gonna make this about four inches and let me get my main design on here. So you bring it over. We know that it's not, it's 13 by 10 and some change. So we're gonna make that, let's say it was seven inches. Let's hit enter, cause it's locked. So that was able to fit right there. And if you need to zoom in, you can. Oh, I probably zoomed in too much. But you just wanna make sure that it's not gonna overlap, for example. And you go back to view, and you can zoom back to 100. Let me see, it's a shortcut key. All right, if you hold the Alt and scroll up or scroll down, you can do it that way. You can actually zoom in. All right, we know this is a little sticker. Um, it can be any size you want. So we got the last design right here. This is something different. It's supposed to be like five inches. It's gonna be like a little design. So what you want, you want it to fit right here, right? See this little green dot? It's called a polygon or anchor. So you can actually turn it. So I need to turn it this way, okay? But let's say you forgot how to turn it or something came up and it's like this. You are like, dang, I'm trying to figure it out. I messed up the size. What you can do is go back to edit, click on do scale, click on do move polygon, click on do the rotation until it's back to the correct 
way you had your design. So, but you can turn the design this way, slide it right here, still within the print border. This one we can move up a little bit, that one up a little bit, that one up a little bit. Now this is my little sticker for my, um, one of the little ones, they wouldn't care. So this is maybe about two inches, make them like a little two inch sticker. Boom. If you want to zoom in, check everything out. Hold the alt key, scroll up. Make sure that it's not looking crazy. Like, all right. Hold the alt key. Um, use the roller on the mouse to uh, roll up. Now, if you want to see the document size, I mean, the canvas, this is your little scroll right here to the right, right there. And right here at the bottom, it's a little scroll. Just a little bar right here. Scroll right there. All right, everything is done. Everything is good. I got all my designs on there. I used up um, 11 by 17. So I got one, two, three, four, five designs. Now I'm ready to print. Right here, I send to printer, that little icon. Click that, and this is your preview. Okay, everything looks good. Click print, and right here you find your printer. All right, then click on preferences, because if you didn't set up a preset, I do have a video for that. If you don't click that, you don't have your preset, then you're gonna have to go through the paper source, the document size, if you want a borderless, um make sure it's always premium presentation paper matte quality is high so you want to go to the middle to the options the middle tab you know make sure the document size is going to be same as document size um if the color correction is not automatic click on custom click advance if you want to get straight to printing click on icm and click ok some good colors if not color controls, make sure it's on Epson Vivid. Click the slide bar for Scion, it's positive two, magenta, negative 20, and yellow, negative 15. Those are the best settings. Click OK for sublimation, of course, mirror image. If, if it's for something else, then uncheck that mirror image. If you're using um, the paper transfer or something like that and click OK, you can apply it if you want to, but just always double check by clicking preference and then click print and you're good to go. So that's how you will pretty much what they call it, like gang sheet. Um, that's how you will utilize all your paper instead of just printing out a certain size and then you'd be like, wow, I, I really just wasted X amount of space. So I hope this helps as far as, you know, gaining more designs, able to print them. That way you can utilize and maximize your paper for sublimation um, for, or whatever projects you got going on. So again, if you're new, subscribe, hit the like button, drop any questions or comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all stay blessed and stay true. I'm out.